Hi everybody, it's Tracy and I have a project to share with you this morning. Um, this project is a junk journal, smash book, whatever, for my daughter, my youngest daughter. And um, I just decided to make her one because she likes to doodle and, and, and draw and just color and things like that and write. She loves to write. So, I thought I would make her something that she can do all of that in. So, let me show you. Now, first of all, let's see. I used some scraps, but not a lot of scraps. I just decided to just use up some paper that I've had and I wasn't really using much of or finishing up some of it. And the papers that I used are the Berry Sweet Collection by Can Company. And I've used this paper for a few projects, but I've finished it up. No more empty. Okay. And then I also used the Sparkly Sweet Collection. And I'm almost done with this. I've used this on a few projects too. But I used most of it up. And then I also used Sweet Nectar. And um, I really didn't put much of a dent in this paper. It's just a few pages that I used. But notice how each of the Can Company paper packs have the word sweet in it. <laughs> Probably because my baby is so sweet. I know, that's corny, right? Okay, anyway, let me show you her journal. <clears throat> And here it is. Okay. And so, what I did is I used chipboard that is 8 by 8 So the journal is 8 by 8 And um, I binded it with my cinch. And I used the spiral binding which I love so much better because you don't have to worry about cinching it into a perfect um, circle which I can never ever do so and then here I have some charms and these are all charms that came with the Berry Sweet collection by Kay and Company and you see that love a little sock monkey strawberry cutie okay and I attached that with a Tim Holtz um, I forgot what that's called, but it's by Tim Holtz. Okay. Now, so for the front, what I did is I just used some Recollections Trim and Recollections Roses there. This is a chipboard piece from the, the Berry Sweet Collection. And the felt flowers are from the Berry Sweet Collection. Um, also this little heart. Now, the KGC... Christiana's initials, KGC, and what I did is I cut it out in chipboard on my Cricut, and I used my Gypsy to weld those pieces together, and I used, oh, now I'm trying to remember, I don't even remember what cartridge I used to get the, the letters. I went through so many cartridges just trying to find the perfect lettering so but it was one of them and these are recollections flowers and recollections bling in the middle and I hope you can see this it doesn't seem like my lighting's all that great today I don't know okay so let me get started this is a lot of pages all right so here first and I'm inside cover. I just have a pocket so she can put her little stuff in there. And it says Hoot with the, um, one of the collection chipboard. And then here I have just a plain page. And this is just designer paper. So what I did is I have designer paper. I have plain cardstock. Some of the cardstock I embellished a little bit, like that's a rub on. So, but I wanted to leave her lots of plain papers 
so that she could, um, you know, do what she wanted. So she loves the little reading farm stamps, so I stamped some of her favorite ones so she can color them in if she wants to. These are just plain pages. On this page, I cut her a little photo map. If she can put photos or she can write or whatever, stick things on it on all of the pages. Here we have some bling that I put on and just more pages. And then a lot of pages I um, like, this is designer paper that I glued to the back of white paper. Then we have here page that I cut with a Martha Stewart punch. And then I also added some lined pages so that she can write things easily if she wants to. So here I made her a little um, envelope. And that opens with Velcro. And I do have, do I have a little? Oh, I guess I don't. No. I didn't put anything in there. So she can put whatever she wants in there. And then down here, just decorated with some Martha Stewart, a Martha Stewart punch. And the next page, plain. I'm going to have little Miss Anya on that one. So, yeah, here's another pocket. More plain um, or lined pages. And here's, well, this is one of my favorite pages. I love that. And she does too. She's so excited. She hasn't seen that I finished this. And so when she wakes up today, she's going to be so excited. And there's another little girl. More plain pages. Some owls, which she thinks are so cute. Plain lined papers. Another pocket for her little things. Some more paper. And here I made another little, like a library pocket, I guess. Oh, here's that little tag that I made for her. I didn't make too many tags because I want her to just do her own thing with this. Sock monkeys. Why do little kids think they're so cute? I mean, they're cute, but they're not that cute. No. <laughs> Let me stop. They're cute. <laughs> okay. This is a little thing I made her. Big tag or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get it back in there. And I used some sparkle paper, which I really like back there. And I loved all of these pages that I used. Lovely. More white lined paper. Another little reading farm stamp. More plain paper for her to do whatever. Another page and this is the end. That's the back cover. Another pocket. Pretty straightforward. I'll have to put something back there for her. And that's her little journal. Junk journal, smash journal, art journal, whatever you want to call it. But it's for my little princess, KGC otherwise known as Christiana, <laughs> and um, that's that. So thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.